Hello and welcome. Today we're testing out Pyramid Flow. It's an open source text to image and image to video system you can use locally. It is based on Stable Diffusion 3, so it is limited for business use cases. Let's take a look. This is a custom Gradio app. It's mostly the same as the one they have in their repository, except it has this handy dandy extend video tab that allows you to take the last frame of one video and use that for the next generation and then output the full extended video. I do have a pull request pending, so we'll see if they take it, but you can definitely find this online and use it yourself if you want to. All right, so first let's have a simple prop. Let's just go with penguins in a city. Well, certainly interesting. Let's try a different prompt. As you can see, this is using my GPU about as much as it can be. Not, not super impressed. Let's try a guidance scale of 20 and see if it gives us anything different. Does not look promising. <laughs> My guidance scale of 20. Um, uh, too much. <laughs> I'd say that's too much. Let's try the other side and do very low guidance. Okay. It's not a yellow submarine at all. Oh, it's at least a yellow submarine this time. And it looks more coherent for sure. And it starts to deco here near the end. Let's mess with image to video. This was generated from some comfy UI thing at some point <laughs> for one of my videos. Um, we'll go ahead and leave the settings default and generate a video based off this image. Honestly, that's, it's not bad. This is pretty good. It looks like it shrivels up. Burning GPU, something it can handle. All right, next guy, let's have this uh, starry solar system motherboard orbit around the center. And here we go. It did nothing, so let's knock up the prompt following. But not too high. <laughs> Okay, well, it's definitely better, but not quite what I was going for. <laughs> if you ever wonder what it looks like if you could just keep it going, that's what this extend tab is for. We'll go ahead and just download this video, head over to extend, drag it in, and just because we're going to want to maintain the same prompt. We'll put that there. You could put in something else to happen in the next sequence in your video and kind of make a progression that way. Extend. The first five seconds will be the old footage. And then you can see it's definitely got a different a movement shift on the next set of frames. Here's an example of running an extend on uh, just the word fish again and again and again. So it started out with a pretty coherent fish. Uh, and you can see the generation made it stop moving and turn. And it's definitely another generation here. A little confusing what's happening. And then you can see it's turning into yet another angle of a fish with a ton of tails. Uh, but yeah, it stayed mostly coherent. Um, the fish body was a little off but still not too bad here's the prompt of just ants uh, extended again and again the ant body shapes are not accurate uh, but the scene itself is almost coherent and it's fairly long so it's pretty impressive if a bit creepy <laughs> Definitely started decohering there near the end, but that's 30 seconds of generated footage. Pretty cool. All right, here is a drone on Mars extended with different prompts, so it kind of shows like a movie. 
This is now entering a forest. And then deer, I had a deer because it seemed like a forest. <laughs> it transitioned to a rhino for no reason. It kind of decohered and then somehow recovered, which is interesting. I kind of thought this looked like a city, so I then prompted it with a city landscape. While not the best text-to-image system on the market, it is the best open source one. It is limited for business use cases, and it's uh, a bit heavy on the resources. Thanks for watching. Bye.